How to fix your Mac stuck at the blue or gray screen. Peripheral issue. Before proceeding to other troubleshooting steps, the first thing you should do is to check all peripherals that are connected to your Mac. Turn off your Mac by pressing and holding the power button for a few seconds until the Mac shuts off. Disconnect all peripherals like USB and Thunderbolt cables. Then power on your Mac. If the problem remains after disconnecting all peripherals from your Mac, proceed to the second step. Boot in safe mode. Start up your Mac and, at the same time, hold down the shift key on your keyboard. It might take some time for the safe mode to boot. You'll see safe mode written at the top right corner of your screen. Log into your user. On the desktop, in the upper menu, click on Go. Go to Utilities. Find an open disk utility. Select your drive and click on First Aid. Then click on Run and wait for the process to finish. If you are asked, click on Repair Disk. Then restart your Mac. Repair the startup drive from another drive. Boot from a USB flash drive. Insert a USB flash drive. Hold down the Option key on your keyboard and start up your Mac. You'll see the Mac OS Startup Manager appear where you can choose the device to boot from. Boot from a DVD install disk. Insert the DVD into the Mac. Restart your Mac and, at the same time, hold down the letter C key on your keyboard. Follow the instructions on the screen. Boot from a recovery HD. Restart your Mac and, at the same time, hold down the command and R keys on your keyboard. After your Mac boots, in the disk utility window, select your drive. Click on First Aid and then on Run. Wait for the process to finish. Verify to repair the drive if asked. Repair the startup drive in single user mode. Start up your Mac, and at the same time hold down Command and letter S keys on your keyboard. In the command line, enter the command, slash S bin slash F S C K dash F Y. Wait for the F S C K command to finish the process. If you see the message the volume X means no problems were found. If you see the message file system W, it indicates that issues were found and the FSCK command tried to correct the errors on your hard drive. In this case, continue to execute the FSCK command until you see the message volume X appears to be OK. If the message doesn't appear after five or more attempts, your hard drive has severe issues and you might not be able to repair it. Change startup drive permissions change permissions by booting from another device. Boot your Mac from another drive. Wait for your Mac to boot. When you see the desktop, open Spotlight by pressing the command and space keys on your keyboard. In the Spotlight, enter Terminal to open it. Or you can open it from the Utilities folder. In the Terminal window, enter the command line, sudo ch own root commas slash volume slash startup drive slash commas. You have to replace the word startup drive with the name of your startup drive that is experiencing issues. Enter your administrator password. The password characters will not be shown in the terminal window. In the terminal window, enter the command line sudo chmod1775, slash volume slash startup drive slash commas. Don't forget to replace the word startup drive with the name of your startup drive that is experiencing issues. Restart your Mac. Change permissions by using single user mode. Hold down the command and S keys on your keyboard and start up your Mac. Hold down the keys until you see a few lines of scrolling text. In the command prompt, enter the line mount uw space slash. Then enter the next command line ch own root space slash. Then enter the following command line ch mod 1775 space slash and enter the last command line exit thank you for watching